Hello and here we are again for the another project. This is a smart robot using Arduino Uno and a smartphone. Do not fast forward this tutorial so that you do not miss any connections, polarity, instructions, and especially the procedure of downloading libraries and uploading code. This smart robot is controlled by a smartphone. The smartphone is connected to the Bluetooth receiver of the robot which is the HC06 or HC05. So far, maybe this project doesn't have much benefits, but on the other hand, this project will serve as the foundation of our next Arduino projects. For now, let's focus on how this robot is made in terms of making and combining different codes and integrate one Arduino component to another. <laughs> this is Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno is an open source microcontroller board based on the microchip at Mega 328P. Please note the polarity of the connections of our motors based on the color coding and where each motor is located. This is L293D motor driver module. It also called L293 D motor control module because it controls the servo, stepper, and DC motors. Now we will use this to power the four DC motor. And like I said before, focus on the polarity of the connections of DC motors to our L293 D motor driver module. The front left side DC motor is connected. To the M1 of L293D motor driver module. The rear left side DC motor is connected to M2 of L293D motor driver module. The rear right side DC motor is connected to M4 of L293D motor driver module. And lastly, the front right side DC motor is connected to M3 of L293D motor driver module. This is HC06 Bluetooth module. You can also use HC05 Bluetooth module. This Bluetooth module used for wireless communication. Usually, this is used to communicate small devices like a mobile phone or a laptop and exchange files over the range of less than 10 meters. The VCC is connected to 5 volts. The GND is connected to the GND. The TXD is connected to A5 which is the RX. The RXD is connected to A4 which is the TX. This smart robot is DC powered. The input voltage of this robot is minimum of 7 to 9.5 volts. I use two 3.7 battery connected on series. It gives us 7.4 to 8.4 volts. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now to Russell Electronics to keep you updated on our newly uploaded videos. And before we upload the code, remove the PWR jumper and put it back in place later after the code is uploaded and the robot is disconnected to our PC. Now, let's connect the robot or the Arduino Uno to our laptop or to your PC. In this project, we will use Arduino IDE software and let's start. Go to Tools, Manage Libraries, and search for Remote C, Remote XY. and install the latest version and install also the other fruit library
fruit library is installed for us to use the L293D motor driver module. After that, let's go to the let's go to the website of Remote XY. Controller and pick a four button. The the bottom button one is back. The button two is forward. The button three is left, and the button four is go to the right. Then type the password that you want. If you want to connect to the Bluetooth of the robot, which is the HC05 or HC06, and the RX pin is A5, the TX pin is A4. Then check if the board that you use is Arduino Uno. And you use Arduino IDE. Let's check it. Yes, it is correct. Then go to download library. Copy this link and paste this link to the preferences. Go to File, Preferences, and add the link that we copied to our additional board manager. Then OK. After that, go back and look for the code and copy the code. Copy the code and paste it to our software and in this time we will combining a codes from two projects let's open the example of Adobe fruit then Open an example. First, copy the EF motor that H and paste it to our code. Um, the RX is A5, TX is A4. Check. Then go to void set off above the void set off. Um, type af underscore motor underscore DC motor rather and DC motor one af underscore DC motor motor one. Then copy and Paste it three times. Change the number of motor. It must be motor one, two, three, and four. Then after that, uh, go to wide set up and copy the code from our example to our 
code then type motor one underscore set speed um the max speed of the motor is 255 copy it to make it for then it must be motor one two three and four delete this code then that's right um, let's for let's let's look for the another code or let's make our code <laughs> our own code um if the remotes x y both on one wait if remote x y button one is equal to zero means that we do not push the button or the, the button is off that means the button one is equals to zero because the button one is off and also to our button two three and four if we didn't touch any button the motor will stop that's why we type the word stop next if remote xy button 1 is equals to 0 the robot will forward void forward if the robot will go forward the motor one two three and four will go forward The speed of our motor is 255. That is the maximum. Let's change the numbers. It must be 1, 2, 3, and 4. I have a mix mistakes on the void loop. Let's change it later. For now, let's continue this code void backward let's copy this and paste it if the button 2 is push which means that the button 2 is equals to 1 the robot will go backward and all the motors is
indicated by the word backward. Motor 1 that ran backward. Then, for the turn right, void turn right. And for turn right, turn left rather, for turn left, the motor 1 and 2 must go backward and the motor 3 and 4 must go forward. Then, the robot will turn left. And for turn right, void turn right. And this time, the motor 1 and 2 will go forward and motor 3 and 4 will go backward. Yeah, that's, that's it. Motor 1 and 2 forward, motor 3 and 4 backward. Then the robot will go. The robot will turn to the right. Yeah, that's why it turn right. <laughs> and that's it. And for the stop. Let's change the yes stop. It is release. Yeah, release. Let's upload the code. The moment of truth. <laughs> oh, why? There are codes that we did. Make right. <laughs> we have a mistakes. Where are the mistakes? Oh, it said that remove the. Yeah, remove it. Then let's upload it again. Oh, I forgot. It must be one, two, three, four. Uh, let's upload it again and yeah that's it disconnect the Arduino Uno to our computer and let's return the PWR jumper that we removed before and that's it maybe it's done maybe maybe it's done um this time install the remote xy app and open it then go to bluetooth turn on the bluetooth let's start it yeah. 
HC06. Let's connect to HC06. Type the number 1234. 1234. Wait. 4. And pair. Then type the password that we make and the password that we type on the website and that's it it's working um let's add props let's add props oh nice and that's it